Hello everyone, so let's talk about maximum sum BST in binary tree. So given a binary tree root, the text is to return the maximum sum of the all keys of any subtree, which is also binary tree. And this is the binary tree definition. So what you actually need to do is you are given a tree and then when you want to um, traverse a tree, you need to know if this subtree is a BST or not. For example, this subtree, the left subtree, this is not a BST because the value uh, for the root is uh, equal to the right subtree, so which is not a valid BST. So in this case, you just need to return return the sum of the old subtree from a uh, uh, from a BST because this is just a tree, not a BST tree. And you need to find the BST tree inside the tree and find the max maximum sum from all of the trees. Right. So that would be the explanation. So what would what would what would I do is I have a class, I'm gonna call it result. And in this class I have the lower value and upper value and also the uh, the sum. So when I uh when I do a construction, I would I would just say uh public result. And in lower, in upper, and in sum, and I would just add. I'm sorry. I would just initialize it, the value to uh, with the with the argument. Sorry. Let me just finish it. And for the for this question, I have a global variable. I would just say maximum sum. I would just default by zero. And when I traverse the tree, I take the root, but my class is a result. So it will return three elements. And so pop the result, I'm going to say uh, traverse. Uh, yeah, traverse. And tree null. I'm going to call it null. You can call it root, but I like to call it null. So first thing first, if root equal to null, return zero. Because the maximum is not, uh, it's not anything but, but zero, right? So I was call the helper function traverse root, and return the maximum sum. I will update my maximum sum inside this result traverse helper function. So what what will I do is if I'm gonna give a base case if no equal to, if no equal to no, then I will just initialize my result. To uh, for the lower value, I need to know I I'm going to initialize to maximum, and for upper, I'm going to initialize to minimum value, and some will initialize to zero. So when I compute the value, um, anything, uh, any other any subtree, then I will just update the lower and upper and the sum as well. So just follow along. So I have a result left, left will become traverse node left, result right, that will become traverse node right. So at the end, I will traverse every single one, and I will read, and I will, uh, and I will get to this uh, statement for the base case, right? So I'm going to see if my node, okay, sorry, if my left is equal to node, or right is equal to no. Anything, if there are no, just return no, because we don't want the no value. And also there's a case. What if the left upper value is greater than the uh, no value itself? So which means for, for here, this is left value and this is no value, right? Tree no, no, and this is tree no left. And if this value, is less than this value is is this the value BST? No, right? So not the left. If this is less than equal to left the upper, which is the maximum value, and then also not the value is if this is greater equal to right the lower, then I can just return no. So you get the idea, right? If the uh, value range is greater than the uh, greater than the right the lower or less than equal to left the upper, 
that is not a valid BST. And if everything is good, then we know maximum sum is going to be it's going to be up there, right? So I would say maximum sum, and I would say note value plus left the sum plus right the sum. I'm going to update the maximum sum, and I will also uh, initialize my low and low and upper for the current node. So I will say low something in upper something, and later I will return a new result. And then lower, upper, and something else, right? So that would be the uh, structure. So I'm I'm gonna say lower it low lower would be uh, messed up minimum. It's either this value or the value it was, right? So that would be left the lower. And for the upper, that is definitely maximum, no value or right the upper. And for this current resort, it's definitely going to be left dot sum plus right dot sum plus node dot val. That would be the current sum for this node. And that would be the solution. And let's just run it and see if I have made anything typo. Yes, I do. So public resort. Oh, I see. So resort. Yes, very wrong. Yeah, yeah, I do. Okay. That would be easy to fix. All right. That would be the solution. And also, let's talk about time and space. For the time, you traverse every single element once and to see if they are valid or not, right? If not equal to no or not. Then, which means all of n, right? And for the space, for the space is all of n. Why? For every single node, you create a, a class resort. You have a resort object for every single node. And to compare if my lower and upper and then to the parent node value, if there is value or not, then you do need to return something. So that will be all, all of n, right? And for every single node, that will be all of n. So um, time and space complexity are all of n, and that will be the solution. And this question is really hard for sure and i hope you understand it and if there's anything that i can explain please comment below and please like the video if you like it all right peace